Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back Cyber Angels and thank you very much for your loyalty and your likes and shares I appreciate it very much and I'm glad you enjoy it and welcome to new people that uh, have just landed on the channel welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and uh, please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded uh, if you I do go out three times a week and I give away free cards and also answer questions that are supported by a donation now if you would like an extended reading then please uh, look for the information below this video in the description box and also in the top right hand corner you can find a little white circle with an eye in there click on that and then you'll get see a picture of an angel click on that and it will take you to the website now there are a few changes Scorpio um, I've just done the three top videos and that was Capricorn at 276 and Pisces 96 likes and Gemini at 86 and thank you very much for uh, uh, liking and sharing like I said and if you would like to be number one then keep the likes going I'm only doing the first three now there's also a change if any of you are starting or have started a vision board and to join the competition no, I didn't know about all this nobody said I'm joining and let me know um, I'm going to do a restart on Facebook I'll be making a private page and so you can join if you are joining in the competition now your first card is soulmate yes this is your soulmates this is the one now let's see what kind of card you have um, that will clarify it it could be an uh, air sign a Gemini a Libra or a, um, an Aquarian okay Scorpio you will also be getting news it could be from your soulmate and saying they'll be home early for example this could go through text message email, uh, email or telephone call and you have the key and 33 so that is an angel number you are in balance it's also very lucky if you are hooked up then you know it is your soulmate and if you're not hooked up yet then you might get an invitation for example or to, to go out with this new person and they will or could become your soulmate but you hold the key in your hand you can open the door to love or you can close the door or keep the door closed <coughs> in the second week we have wedding wow what did I say you might be getting an invitation no you're not getting married the second week although the, sometimes that it does happen and you, that you fall head over heels in love and you know it's your soulmate from the first sight um, so but if not you might be getting an invitation to go to a wedding with your friend and he or she is your soulmate and you know what the saying is this situation involves a marriage you know what they say from a marriage comes a marriage and then we have again news <laughs> you've got the night the night of Pentacles so this could be a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus you will be getting news this could be news um, that has uh, durability and is for long term so perhaps they will let you know I love you I would like to take this a step further how about it so you might be getting engaged Wow or it could be about l taking a step further going to live together wow awesome big steps so if it is your soulmate think about it and what did I say going to live together 
you might be living or going to live in high rice but somebody's ad adamant they are ambitious perhaps you are ambitious if it's not you they are they are ambitious to get your into your heart and stay into your heart because this is long term so that and it's underneath the card of marriage so that is a long lasting relationship they want your love and they are aiming to get to the top but they won't forget you well they mustn't forget you let me put it that way and if you are ambitious then make sure whilst you are working for your towards your goal to get to the top it doesn't matter whether it's in love or work or anything like that but don't forget family and friends around you okay because when you get to the top then it can be very lonely so in other words if you are forming a relationship with somebody don't or if you're going to live with somebody in high rise for example don't forget to invite your friends and family around otherwise you'll be cutting yourself off there you deserve love you are lovable boom there you go nice one this is an easy reading this is the easiest reading that I've had so far you've got the nine of cups well like I said your wish is coming true you might be moving in you might be getting married very quickly could be within nine weeks three months um, and the card that clarifies that card is the coffin Whoa, you're in a transformational period you're leaving the old behind and you're moving into a new phase of life you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly you've come into your strength and the money house Wow that's great stuff this could be also news about a promotion either one of them because and I think it will be the Pentacles so that you can buy that house that you can move in together this reading is really saying you are lovable and you have met your soulmate and you your goal your wish is to live together to make this a long-lasting relationship not just passion but passion is there Wow is it there allow your heart and soul to sing with joy remember passion doesn't last long like I said remember that if you do have a new love um, make sure that you remember the people that love you and support you whilst you're working towards this new beginning okay so make sure that you know each other's wishes each other's uh, boundaries um, uh, because there is an ending like I said you're in a transformational period a new beginning boom this card is also clarifying that your wish is coming true there is a new beginning it could be the next level up in your relationship you're moving from the eight to the nine and um, to this month in we're in Leo that is passion and that is fireworks um, don't forget that and also is uh, means creativity there's a lot of creative stuff happening being created new things um, action so it is go 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 but take your time okay take your time time is of essence don't do things in haste otherwise you'll repent in leisure now here you've got the king of swords so it could be Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarium so air is quite predominant here okay you could be getting together with a Gemini and you see him signing papers so you could be signing prenuptial agreements you can assign be signing up for a new job like I said so that you can buy this this place money's coming in towards you because you've got the eighth house the house of money and 
uh, of strength, power, and you feel right the top notch. You could be feeling like the king of swords, signing contracts, marriage contract, but, uh, marriage certificate. Wow. And then we have the hand. You and the hand, you've got it in your hand. You've got the world in your hand. You've got yourself also in your hand because you are in your strength. Now the hand, you can also do fortune telling by the hand, the lines in the hand. But to me, this speaks to, to me as you've charted out your plans and they're coming to fruition. Okay? You've charted out or mapped out your plans and wishes. And 39 is a 12. Again, a 12 becomes a th 3. So there you go. If you creativity and it is a passion, uh, it's a passionate month. Leo is a fire sign, so watch out for numbers 33 three or 333 three three and have a look on internet what 333 three three or 33 three means. Okay, and you've got an action card to top it because the red card means action and speak up. Yes, sometimes you have to speak up for yourself. Pearls of Wisdom, Archangel Michael asks you to speak up at this point in time. Your viewpoint needs to be heard. Yes, especially if you are, because the King of Swords stands for justice, stands for clarity, stands for wisdom, stands for communication. So if you are in a judicial situation or if you have to defend yourself, let's say you've immigrated uh, uh, you've just come from another country and um, you want to get married and sign the contracts perhaps you might have to prove that you're COVID free you might have to uh, say I've isolated myself like the tower on the rock I've isolated myself um, for two weeks and um, so stick up for yourself okay um, if you have to defend yourself speak up as well don't hide away but speak in such a way way pearls of wisdom okay sweet talk if you want to catch somebody's attention and you want them to love you back or fancy you back whoa and we and whoa all the time sweet nothings whoa lovely and also if you have to defend yourself just speak the truth and do it in a nice intonation. People will listen to that if you stay calm, businesslike, like the King of Swords, without emotions, boom, it will hit home. Reconsider. Now, I don't know, let's have a look. Reconsider, reconsider, reconsider the invitation. If it's the first time um, you are getting an invitation to go to a wedding um, and you're not, if you're hooked up, then right, reconsider whether you want to go to a wedding or not. Perhaps you might have to go alone to the wedding uh, because you might be meeting your soulmate there if you're not hooked up. Okay, if you are hooked up, then you, um, there might be something that you have to reconsider um, perhaps reconsider the wedding date especially to do with COVID again you have to postpone it perhaps you have to change your wedding m venue so reconsider that I think there is going to be a wedding um, perhaps not in July uh, August but it could be in September um, September or October. So you might have to postpone it. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Remember, you hold the key. Don't forget others that you love and that support you and love you too, whilst you're climbing up to the new beginning. Boom, 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 your wish is coming true. There you go. I think it's an awesome reading. Good luck, stay safe, and see you in the life or in the next video. Ciao, ciao.